The neurology case is a 70-year-old man who has long-standing difficulty in walking. The major findings are lower motor neuron weakness and sensory loss below the knees. He also has pescavus and hamatos, suggesting this has been there, his weakness has been there for a very, very long time. This 70-year-old man had long-standing difficulty in walking. I wanted to examine his lower limbs from the neurological point of view. Please go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name's Steve. I'm a fourth year medical student. Um, is it okay if I examine your legs? Yes. Great. Could I please start off by having you stand up and walk to the end of the room and back? Yes, that's all right. Okay, can I please have you just relax your, your leg, keep it nice and floppy. Okay. Could I get you to not let me push your knees in together? So, thank you. Now don't let me push your knees apart. Thank you. Now can you try and raise your uh, uh, heel off the bed? Okay, now with the other foot. Thank you. Now don't let me lift your heel off the bed. Thank you. Now with the other one. Great. Now, are you able to push your toes um, down against my hand. Thank you. Now with the other one. Great. Now, are you able to um, bring your toes up against my hand? Thank you. Now, can you with the right foot, can you try that? Great, thank you. Can you bring your toes in together, so like this? Okay, great. Now, with your right foot, can you resist me pushing it out? Great. Now, with the other. Okay, now, are you able to push against, push against my hand, push your foot out? Now with the other one. Right. Okay. Now, what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to use this hammer to test your reflexes. So just keep your leg nice and floppy, nice and relaxed. Thank you. Now the other one. Great. Now, could you please bend your knee for me? Now, bring it out, like that. I'm just bring your foot up a bit. Great. Now, could I get you to, to clench your teeth for me when I say to clench? And, and clench. Okay, thank you. Now we'll try it with the other leg. Okay, bend it and bring your knee down a bit if you can. Great, thank you.
Now, can you clench your teeth for me when I say to clench? And clench. Okay, that's fine. Now, bring it down. So I'm just going to be running this down up your foot. Please ask you to bring your uh, right heel onto your left knee. And can you run it down your shin and back up? Great, thank you. Now, could you do it with the other leg, please? I'm going to be tapping your um, testing for your sensation. So, if I can just show you what this feels like. So, does this feel sharp? Yes. Okay, great. So, what I'm going to be doing is tapping it on your leg, and I want you to tell me when you feel feel it sharp. Okay. Can you feel? Tell me when you feel it sharp. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Yep. Does it feel sharp or blunt? That's sharp. Okay. Thank you. And now, can you tell me if this feels sharp or blunt? Can you tell me if this feels sharp or blunt? And can you, does that feel sharp or blunt? If you can feel it. This. Did that sharp. feel sharp? Sharp or blunt? Okay, thank you. Now, now I'm going to be putting this on and it vib vibrates. Now, can you tell me if you can feel this? Yes, vibration. Excellent. Now, can you tell me what you feel? Anything? Okay. Can you feel? Can you feel anything there? The same mm -hmm. little bit sharp there. There's no vibration, really. Okay. Now, I'll try the other leg. Can you tell me if you can feel anything there? No. All right. Feel anything there? No. Can you feel anything? Yeah, it's just like a sharp piece type of thing there. But can you feel it vibrating? Mm -hmm. no. This is something very light. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to be tapping you with this. So can you feel that there? Can you feel that on your chest? Yeah. Okay. Now tell me when you can feel it on your leg. Film it touching you there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now the other leg. Yes, I feel it there. Okay. Now, can you tell me when you can feel it? Yes.
Tell me when you can feel it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you would like to do or have you finished examination of the lower limbs? Um, I would also like to examine, um, I guess, to hot and cold sensation mm, yeah. and test probe it'll, reception. It will be the same as the soft touch, so yeah. I, th I think in the interest of time. So why don't you tell, uh, tell us what you found so far? Okay. Um, so on ex examination, um, uh, when a uh, patient was walking in, mm. he um, had um, sort of high high steps with a with a foot drop, mm -hmm. um, and he also had or well, um, orthotics that were mm. that were present. Mm. Um, his uh, feet, um, ap uh, his legs appear to be um, wasted below the knees, mm -hmm. um, but not above. Um, he has high arches mm -hmm. in his feet, and also um, some uh, some sort of claw deformity of, of the toes. Mm -hmm. um, he appears to have a decreased um, uh, sensation mm -hmm. um, in both his legs bilaterally in a sort of stocking um, fashion. Mm -hmm. um, and he also um, has um, some decreased uh, power um, below his uh, um, below his knee, particularly um, his uh, plantar mm -hmm. and dorsiflexion mm -hmm. was um, significantly diminished in both legs. Mm -hmm. The coordination? Um, his coordination um, appeared to be mostly normal. However, mm -hmm. um, on the um, the uh, heel to shin test was perhaps slightly difficult for him due to some muscle wasting. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, what did he his reflexes? His reflexes were uh, were diminished. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was unable to elicit um, the the ankle jerk, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there was no response. Mm -hmm. um, on, uh, on his uh, when testing for the Pavinsky reflex. So, what do you think is going on? So he appears to have some uh, form of a peripheral neuropathy. Mm -hmm. um, the what type uh, of peripheral neuropathy? Um, a uh, the motor a, sensory or mixed. Oh, so it, it appears to be a, a mixed uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. peripheral neuropathy. Mm -hmm. um, what could be the with, common causes of this? So diabetes would be mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. most uh, my first um, differential, mm -hmm. and perhaps. But see, his uh, blood sugar is normal. Hemoglobin A1C is normal. Okay. Um, then would also consider um, alcohol. Mm -hmm. Alcoholism mm -hmm. um, could be a cause. Mm -hmm. um, or you just don't drink. Yeah. Sorry. You just not drink alcohol. He does not drink. Um, and you so, you thought he's rightly said he's uh, he's got some foot deformity. Uh, you know, you saw he has a pest cavus and. Uh, deformed, uh, you know, f feet. So what does that tell you? So he might have, a, so a, I guess, a, a genetic mm -hmm. um, a component to, um, or etiology mm -hmm. um, of his, uh, of his uh, um, symptoms. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. The neurology examination is always difficult, even for the experience clinicians. But this student did extremely well. He, 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 he obtained all the essential findings of low motor neuron weakness and sensory loss below the knees. He also picked up the uh, findings of pest cavus and hematos and were, was able to come up with a diagnosis of some long-standing neurological uh, disease. So I think this is an excellent performance from an undergraduate student. Uh, diabetes and alcohol will be unlikely cause of his neurological damage uh, because he has the telltale signs of long-standing neurological disease of pest cavus and hematos. The most likely diagnosis here is Charcot-Marie tooth disease.